Hello there and welcome to Can Sanity. Today in Southern Ontario it's 10 degrees. A beautiful day to get outside and I thought I would take the opportunity to plant my lettuce and my kale seedlings today. I came out earlier and I just set up this grid of tomato plant stakes so that I could show you easily how many plants you can fit in a small area. The spaces of the squares are six by six inches and that's the ideal space for planting your lettuce plants. Kale takes up a little bit more room because the kale plants when they're mature are a much larger plant. So in this grid I would plant my kale at the edge of the uh, grid on one square and the edge of the grid on the other square. Now I've already planted a few plants, but I thought I'd now show you just how easy it is to plant your seedlings in your garden. So I have a plastic planter here that I use from year to year. Just gonna gently take the plant out. And as you can see, I have a couple plants here, so I'm going to separate those out. And I can plant one here, and I'll plant one over here. So you want to bury them down past the first set of leaves, which is called the primary leaf. So I'll plant the second one over here. I'm going to press down the soil, but not be gentle. You don't have to press that down too, too firmly. Now I leave a little bit of a divot around the plant. Uh, that's ideal because then the water will um, pool around the plant a little bit before it is absorbed by the soil. So now that I've planted a few lettuce plants for you, I'm going to move over to this side of the cold frame and plant some of my kale plants. Now this kale plant uh, these kale plants were planted in a different kind of container. This is a compo compostable, biodegradable container. You can buy them at the nursery stores or at Canadian Tire, probably Walmart as well. You can plant that right in the ground and that will degrade over time. And so you don't have to, it's quite easy to plant. But I have two kale plants growing in this pot and I don't want to waste them. So I'm going to take the pot apart and then plant each seedling separately. So be gentle when you separate your plants. Now the kale plant you can see is quite a, a bit bigger than the lettuce plant that I just planted. Um, you can plant all the way up to, these are what is called the primary leaves, the first leaves that emerge. You can plant right past that so that you have the, uh, the plant, that much of the plant showing. Again, I'm just loosely placing it in there. I'm going to move this one over to this part of the, the grid. If you don't bury all of the, the primary leaves, that's okay. After 
after you've planted your plants, your seedlings, take a measuring cup, fill it with water, and then just plant around the base. Don't plant, don't, sorry, not plant, water around the base. Don't pour the water right over top of the leaves because that's hard on the plant. Make sure you water at the base. Now, I do, I do want to take a little bit of time right now just to uh, tell you that you want to make sure that when you set out your planters to plant or um, build your cold frame and, and uh, pick a placement in your yard, that you pick the ideal place to place it. This cold frame is uh, in this direction, it's southwest, and in that direction, it's the east. So the sun rises over there and then goes over top of the cold frame and sets in the west. So that gives the ideal amount of sun exposure to this cold frame. I, I get more than eight hours uh, of sun over this cold frame. So uh, it, it just uh, gives up the ideal conditions for the, the growth of plants. Now, I plant my plants in this cold frame in rows of plants that are the same. So I, today I planted my lettuce plants in the front of this cold frame in these rows. And then I planted my kale plants in these rows. I wouldn't want to put my kale plants this way and then put my lettuce plants on that side because kale grows quite a bit taller. And so you wouldn't want to put your tall plants in a place where they're going to shade out your small plants. So that is why I plant my plants with the lettuce here and then the kale here. I'm going to reserve this part of the cold frame for planting peppers, which are a lot taller. Um, but it's a little too cold and I don't have the plants anyways yet. They're not up. Uh, large enough to plant my peppers and it's too cold so I'll have to wait until the ideal conditions and uh, to plant my peppers in the cold frame. So um, I think that's all I wanted to show you about planting lettuce today and your lettuce and your kale seedlings. Thank you for watching.